The man you're about to hear about was stabbed nine times. God brought him back from the dead. You've got to hear his testimony. Uh, I go into this apartment complex in Granada Hills, California. And, um, you know, I'm just getting out of the gym. I was pretty buff at the time. You know, I used to work out every day. That's part of the whole thing of being in Hollywood. You know, I'm walking through this apartment complex in Granada Hills and going up to this door and this guy, the door just flings open. And this guy who was on, I believe, some type of drugs, I think it was meth, totally, you know, messed up in his mind, just starts stabbing me with a kitchen knife that's about this big. And uh, just proceeds, the first stab was in the heart. And so it went to the outer membrane of my heart. And then, you know, I was trying to fight back. Uh, so it was, it was wild. Every time I would fight back, I'd get another stab wound. And finally, I fell to the ground and literally, you know, was bleeding there. And this man that stabbed me ended up, and his girlfriend that he was with, ended up picking me up and putting me in my own car and taking me to a hospital in Granada Hills, which by the way, this hospital was literally set to close down and it would have been closed in probably a couple of weeks. And so if that hospital would have been closed, the next hospital was in Northridge, it would have been too far and I would have died. So here I am in this car on the way to the hospital that's literally about to close down. All of a sudden I'm looking at the guy who's driving, I'm looking at the girl in the front seat, I'm in the middle and I, I go into the presence of God. I really believe I died at this moment. All of a sudden, I'm in this white presence, and I knew that it was not, you know, I wasn't alive. I said, what's going on? And I heard the voice of the Lord, and the Lord said, do you want to live or do you want to die? And I said, Lord, I want to live. I've always desired to have a family. I've always desired to be married, and I knew my life wasn't, wasn't done at that point. So I said, Lord, I want to live. He says, well, if you live, you got to tell people that I'm real, and you got to be on fire for me for the rest of your life. He said, are you willing to do that? I said, yes, Lord. It was almost like my Isaiah 6 moment, you know, where you're, you're in the glory of the Lord and, and you, what else can you say? It's send me, I'll go, right? So I said, yes, Lord. And when I said, yes, Lord, I woke up and I was in that Granada Hills hospital and people were all around me looking at me and they said, you should not be alive. And I knew I shouldn't be alive, but God gave me that opportunity, restored my life. And I had lost so much blood. And there was somebody that was in there that was stabbed two times, they died. I was stabbed nine times, one in the heart but God spared my life. So you would think that'd be the end of the story, right? But you know, I was an actor, I was a model in Hollywood, and so I went home from that hospital. I was in ICU for 10 days, I was in the hospital uh, for 30 days. But when I went home, I started getting discouraged. I said, you know what, Lord, I was in Hollywood, I was partying, I was having this great life according to the world. I get saved, now here I am, stabbed nine times, I got stab wounds all over my body. And here's the interesting thing, I would go out and I'd be in public somewhere and God would send somebody to come up to me and give me a prophetic word. Just strangers, the three of them. So the first one was in Macy's in Burbank and this woman comes up and she says, I have a word for you. I'm like, you have a word for me? She says, don't let discouragement grow root in your heart. God's got a calling on your life. He's gonna use you. And you know, so everybody's weeping around me as they're hearing this word and the presence of God is moving. The next day I'm in a coffee shop. Same thing, somebody comes up to me, gives me almost the identical word. God's gonna use you, he's got a call on your life. Don't let discouragement take root. You're gonna soar with wings of eagle. So then I'm like, okay, this is kind of weird, two times. Then I go back to the gym, because I'm determined to get back in the gym. And sure enough, this guy turns around and says, I have a word for you. Don't let discouragement go root in your heart. You have a calling on your life, God's gonna use you almost identical to the other two prophetic words. And at that point, I just left the gym. I went into my car and I started weeping. And I said, Lord, I want you to use me. And, and I know that you have a call in my life.